I'm Batman. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of The Projectionist Collection. My name is Rob, I'm a 35mm film and digital projectionist here in Dublin, Ireland. I want to do this quick episode today about some uh, Batman film frames that I actually came across. So somebody was kind of selling some original 1989 Batman uh, 185 to 1 flat like 5 uh, film frames in a strip so I'm going to stick in a picture of them there to kind of show you when I got them so what I wanted to do was make some sort of film cell photo frames I guess is what they're called so I made one Batman film frame so you can see I printed out uh, a 6x4 of Michael Keaton as Batman just two film strips in there with the black card so I just put a torch here behind you can actually see the two film strips um, so what I've done was I bought two of these frames and I've taken out the uh, the wooden back and I've put in the sheet of glass from the second frame so it's like see-through so the back of this is actually glass as well and uh, what I've done on this you can see again there's the strips and I've just put a little kind of a uh, little sticker there to say what this actually is this is the Batman one I also made a Jack Nicholson Joker one so again and um, 6x4 printed in the middle I've done it different done, done this one differently so I've strips of film here and strips of film here and pretty much again same thing on the back and um, you can see through and uh, the sticker to kind of indicate what it is. And finally, uh, Kim Bassinger as well. So again, uh, six by four, and uh, there was only one strip of film, so you can see it's in there, and same again. Unfortunately, I damaged this frame. Um, it's been cracked, but uh, there's that's the, pretty much the gist of it. So I'm gonna go through some steps now to show you how I actually made these and put them together. Okay guys, so as you can see, here is the actual Batman 1989, the film frames that I bought uh, off of eBay. So I got, five um five frame strips if that makes sense so here the first strip you can see is jack nicholson and uh, jerry hall and then the next scene is jack nicholson as the joker with uh, i believe it's bob the, the henchman guy the michael keaton batman frames i believe this is from the start of the film where he's on the rooftop with the with the two kind of criminals and next one is a close-up from later on in the film you can't actually see this, I believe this is from the church where he's kind of, um, you can't see it in the, the image here on screen, but he's kind of, his face is bloodied up, you can kind of see it a bit more brighter in person. And then finally there's one uh, one strip of frames of Kim Bassinger as Vicky Bay. So next thing I done was I picked out some uh, promo photos from the film that I kind of thought, you know, I wanted to use these in the frames. So I printed out a bunch and I wasn't too sure which ones I wanted to use. I was pretty sure on the Jack Nicholson and the Kim Bassinger. And I printed two different uh, Michael Keaton Batmans uh, until I decided which ones I was going to use. So next thing I done was I bought six of these A4 black frames. I have all black frames here in the office. You'll understand why I bought six frames um, f to make three frames. So essentially what I do at the end is I take the wooden back out of the one frame and I take the sheet of glass out of the second frame and use the second sheet of glass as the back so you can see through the actual film frames. Then I went into Eason's and bought this black card. Uh, it's 140 GSM. It's quite thick, um, 40 sheets. It wasn't that expensive. And then just some quick little tools. You need a ruler, a pencil and two kind of arts and crafts knives. You might want to use a cutting mat as well. If you haven't got one, just make sure you don't like mark a table or anything like that when you're cutting this stuff out. So how I ended up actually doing this was I got a sheet of A4 paper and I kind of laid out the, um, as you can see here in the middle. So I wanted to do a 6x4 photo in the middle and I wanted to do two strips of frames each side. So essentially I just like, as you can see, I kind of ruled out the exact middle of the page. And then I just worked out like basically with a ruler where I wanted the pictures to go in the middle and where I wanted the frames to go each side. And then you you can kind of see there's like an inside border and an outside border. So the inside border is essentially where I'm going to cut. And uh, I've squiggled out everything that needs to be cut out with a knife. Um, and everything else would stay. So then with that A4 page I actually cut out. As you can see from the previous picture to this one. I've cut out the, in, the inside section. So as to leave a little bit of an overlap uh, that we're going to use the black card for. So as you can't exactly see the edges. So um, there I've cut out uh, for the 6x4 in the middle and the two strips of 35mm frames each side. So next thing I done was I got a sheet of the A4 black card and I just used these uh, bulldog clips to kind of hold it all together and in place. And then I cut out the two film strips each side and then cut out the 6x4 in the middle. So what you're, essentially what you're left with is this. So you have a sheet of black card with the three holes cut out. So what you want to do now is get another sheet of black card and as you can see here what you only want to do is cut out the two holes for the 35mm frames because you don't want to see the back of the 6x4 that you've got to put in there. So all you need to do then as you can see is get a load of sticky tape and uh, sort of tape the things down where you want, where you want them in position, the photo and the 35mm frames. 
then here's what i done with the back of those frames as i said i took the sheet of glass out of the second frame and i just made this little sticker you know jack nicholson as the joker batman 1989 185 to 1 flat and 35 mil and uh, i just used some masking tape to tape up you can see up above there the um like the the hook for the screw so i basically just pulled that off the wooden back and uh, screwed it on to the top of the frame so i'm able to actually hang these on the wall here you can see what the jack nicholson one looks like this i have a, a light pad behind this so as you can kind of see um that it does you know it is see-through from the back of the frame and there's a close-up of the film strips each side and then here's the Michael Keaton, the Batman one. So I went a little bit different with this. I done a six by four on landscape and I put the two uh, film frames together on the right hand side. Here's some close ups of the film strips. And Kim Bassinger, I only had one strip of 35 mil film. So I just went with the, the portrait six by four again. And uh, I kind of wanted to match up with her, the, uh, the picture the six by four with the kind of film frame, what was going on. So as you can see, it's kind of, this, you know, she's wearing that white dress in the scene where she's kind of walking around uh, Bruce Wayne's mansion uh, at the start of the film. Okay, so that's how I put the Batman film cell frames together. A uh, huge Batman fan since I was a kid. It was like the first film I ever remember going to see when I was about six years old. And um, 89 Batman's my favorite one out of them all, um, followed by the Christopher Nolan trilogy. But um, anyway, they're gonna be going up on the wall here in the office uh, as soon as I get some space and everything sorted. They're really simple to make. You just need to kind of measure out and, and sort of have an idea of what you wanna do with them. That's it, like if you buy those things that I've indicated in the steps earlier, you'll be able to make them no problem. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have already subscribed, please consider hitting the bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. Don't forget to head over to the website, opentheboothpodcast.com to check out episodes of the podcast and other videos and other video series that I'll be doing. And um, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.